Hello and welcome to November's Art Journal Prompt of the Month. Here is the piece that I made, including, I included a drawing of a moth. Here we are with the dice and this is the penultimate prompt before the end of the year. I shall be trying something new for 2022, but I haven't quite worked it all out yet. I will give more details next month. Um, I hope I can figure something out. Right, the first prompt is the main colour, which is red. The second prompt for the accent colour is sage green. I like those colours. And of course, you can use black and white if you want. I should probably add white to my red to avoid the Christmas red and green colourway. The words are words from a book, and I shall get my Oscar Wilde book of poems and select a line at random. Here we are. The first few lines aren't any good, but I look further down and I decide on this line. It says, their deepest secret to the downy moth. I like that. So I'm going to go with the words uh, downy moth, the downy moth. But I also think the words, their deepest secret, would make a good prompt as well, don't you? I might use that in another journal page. Right, um, now the focal point. Let's roll the dice for the focal point. Number eight, which is a piece of treasure. And I am going to be using my moth is going to be my piece of treasure. Um, now you must use uh, the element we must use is number eight. Number eight's come up a lot, hasn't it? Gel prints. Well, that's fine because I have a pile nearly as tall as myself. Slight interlude here to update you on my blunt scissor situation. A couple of videos ago, I was bemoaning the state of my scissor blades as they were very blunt. S many of you gave me some great hints, but the best one from Anna was to use the Fiskars Universal Scissor Sharpener. It works a treat. Thank you, Anna. So simple and works great. Now, here's the journal I'm using today. I made this at the beginning of the year and it has some prompt pages in it already. Uh, and I would like to get the journal finished for the end of this year if I can. <laughs> but this is the page. Um, look at those lovely pages. I'll show you the page I'm working on. I remember that one. That was costume. And this is the page I'm working on. Just this little one. It's the size of a postcard, roughly, which is smaller than I'm used to. I've already gessoed it, and now I'm coming in with some magenta. I decided to use magenta instead of cadmium red, so it isn't Christmassy. I even add white to it to make it more pink as well. The brush I'm using is a one inch flat, which covers the background very quickly. Here is the pink. It certainly gives the rather traditional red-green combination a change by doing this. The paints I'm using are De La Rowney System 3 acrylics. I use those a lot. Anyone new to my channel, I'm giving that information. And now I'm adding the sage green, which I've mixed by using chromium of oxide green with a tiny amount of primary blue and some white to get that lovely sage colour. I've chosen some pieces of gel prints that are on tissue and I'm gluing them down with just, just with matte medium. The pink one has some leaf texture, which adds a nice organic feel to the page. I'll put a little bit at the top as well. Just pop that up there. I've also got some pretty blue gel print, also on tissue. In fact, it's thicker tissue. I think it might be rice paper, actually. 
I'll add that down um, down here like that to integrate everything I'm going in again with some paint and making marks on the page Now for my layering of stencils. I start with one of my mixed media ones. I have a set of six based on the marks I like to add to my art journal pages. All of the stencils you see here today are available in my Etsy shop. The link is down below in the description box. This is my numbers one. I'm just using the smaller numbers here because the page is small. This is a very, very pale green that I'm dabbing through with a makeup sponge. This stencil is a favourite of mine. It makes some great marks on the page. I'm using it to create some interest in the quieter areas. Now this stencil is one of my script prototypes. It's clear so you can't see it very well. When I was figuring out um, the script one out, I um, I test stencils just using OHP paper, but the ones I sell in the shop are on good quality mylar. I just thought I'd mention that. Um, and it's opaque now. I'm just doing some on the top and the bottom of fading out the edges by applying the sponge lightly in those areas. You'll see that in a minute. Because the paint gets used up on the sponge. And then I just dab it lightly as well. And then I've got soft edges. There. Now I've stamped the word on some more of the jelly print paper, uh, which I'm gluing down again with matte medium, and I'm using fabric tack glue for the moth. I drew it on watercolour paper, so glue stick or matte medium won't hold it long term, I know that. I was a bit nervous using the fabric tack glue in case if I got any of the glue on the um, pencil, I'm not sure it would have done it much good. Getting the glue on the antenna wasn't easy. I should have used my Tombow glue. Never mind, I don't know what I was thinking. Put that down there. I do. I want it against the darker pink area there. That's it. Right, I'm going to remove the top and bottom uh, protective pieces now. I take them in place to stop the paint from going on previous pages and forthcoming pages. I'm going, I decided to work on the moth some more to make the darker areas darker, but I regret using a graphite pencil because as you can see, it's shiny. So I end up removing the graphite very gently with a um, eraser. Um, and then I go over it again with colour pencil and you'll see that in a moment what it looks like after I've changed that. Here we are. So I've darkened the um, shadow areas more. I used indigo blue to darken the shadow areas. And I'm going to just put some white paper behind the page so you can see it nice and clearly. Uh, so here it is now, very fond of the moth. They are such amazing creatures. I do love them. If you have a go at this month's prompts, don't forget to use the hashtag Carrie's Prompts if you post it anywhere so I can find it. And if I miss it, give me a nudge, DM me or whatever so I can find it. Thank you very much for stopping by my little corner of YouTube. Let me know you liked my videos by subscribing and leaving me a thumbs up. If you would like to help support my channel, please consider becoming a Patreon member or by buying from my Etsy shop. I have many stencils, stickers and downloadable prints. The links are in the description box down below this video. Don't forget to check out my other videos. I have over 250 now. Bye!